Okay, so now we have a, a minor mode with the key binding. Uh, maybe we should try it out just to see how it looks like. Uh, if we go into your JavaScript file that we copied stuff from. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we have to um, uh, evaluate this buffer. Right. Because uh, these tests are actually firing up a new Emacs for every test run. Yeah. Oh. Not for every test, but for every test run. Yeah. yeah. So we had um, this one here. We're at assert, and we do. You have, have to, to you have to enable the mode first. Special, special mode. mode. Now you can see the where's the mode line. Uh, the mode line is way over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it goes. It's a Buster project. <laughs> but you can see that uh, my space is there. Yeah. So if we had forgotten to include the space, it would have looked very strange. Yeah. <laughs> so C C C B toggle deferred. Oh, but it moves the cursor. It's moved it. Let's not do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that, but nice. Now we have something more to do. I'll write the test. Cool. No, you wrote. You wrote this code. You I wrote writing this text. Okay, so yeah. yeah. Um, where's the feature? Here is the feature. Okay, so deferring a single code test. If, uh, it's, it's just another condition, I guess. Yeah. The first test, uh, deferring a test. When I insert, I go to the front of the word and I press. I should not see. Is this the first one? Yeah. Oh. Uh, the name is wrong here. Oh, yeah. There's uh, some. Yeah. Failing. Okay. Um, okay. Attempting to defer. Test outside buster mode. Yeah. Okay, deferring a test. Then I should see contains. And. Yeah, now, now we have to go digging for some step definition. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's just do that. Because now the like point should be at whatever it was before. Yeah. Basically, we, we got some save excursion coming up in your future. That's, that's quite true. So, um, movement. Movement. I go to line, go to point, go to word. Cursor should be at point, should be before. This is the one we want. The cursor should be before and then the word. Okay, yeah. Nice. I'm going to keep the East buttons <laughs> right here, outside of your screen. <laughs> <laughs> and. The cursor should be before. Okay, so and I the cursor. I the cursor. <laughs> <laughs> Behold. <laughs> yeah, right. Nice. Why is that not a keyword? <laughs> Behold. <laughs> Behold the cursor to yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's not it's not before a shirt, it's before contains. Right. Which is right. Yeah. Or actually conta. Conta. So I think I, I think I've got this handled. There's <laughs> there, this is one of the better features of Emacs. Yeah. Well at least writing Emacs extensions. Save excursion. It will wrap all these other calls and when it will save the position of the point and the mark and the buffers. And when all these calls are done uh, running, it will Restore them as they were. Yeah, it's transactional cursor stuff. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I think it's a, it's pretty neat, but it's also I was when I learned about this, I was a little bit disappointed of how often you need it because almost every function in Emacs is destructive. Yeah, and moves shit around. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So it's, just, it's it's a weird kind of programming. Yeah, yeah. So now we have more features. Toggle. Deferred without moving cursor. Point. Moving point. Cool. I, I think this function is getting to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. it could possibly be refactored a little bit, but let's just see how the patterns emerge. Mm -hmm. But um, I have somewhere in my tests, I think it is in JS to refactor, I have a run. No, there's not here. Um, possibly expand region, run. No, damn it. <laughs> and, uh, multiple cursors. 
run. Ah! Have you heard about find? No! Tell me about find, please. <laughs> I can never remember. Find, uh, here, name, what you're looking for. I run, run tests. I run, yeah. There you go. It wasn't a JS2 refactor, it was the first place I looked. Go figure. Oh. So this is to have automatically running tests. Yeah. So let's look at it. Um, it, it runs all the tests. It runs one test. And it watches the feature file. And then it will have it run just that feature test. Mm -hmm. And it will run all the tests. When it sees if changes in an EL file. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty nice. Um, Watcher is a Ruby gem. Right. Yeah. So you can install with gem install Watcher. So, uh, Watcher run tests. Watcher. So now, we have automatically running tests. Sweet. Let's just touch this and see. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. now we have uh, the toggle deferred, which will basically switch the test off and on. Mm. So there's another feature that's very much like it, which is the focus uh, rocket, which is a new feature, uh, which allows you to do the opposite thing. Uh, when you toggle focus, if you add a, a, like a ASCII spaceship like that, uh, Buster will only run tests that have spaceships in front of them. Exactly. So it's more or less the exact same feature. Uh, mm. Yeah. I really want to make a new feature file already. Sure. So let's rename this to um, deferred test or something. Yeah, deferred. Defer test. What's the what's the name of the, the actual uh, Buster mode? It's called Buster Toggle Deferred. All Let's right. call it that. Toggle Deferred dot feature. Toggle Deferred dot feature. So Toggle Deferred. Yeah, that's actually the name of the feature here. Here as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to copy this. <laughs> so now we have the... Do you have to have the pros in the beginning? I'm not sure. Um, I think that Cucumber treats it just as a comment. Um, uh -huh. it's, it's not running my tests. No, Watcher does not pick up new files. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. And since I'm in... Ruby one eight seven. I can't actually. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be. Um, That's a pretty good feature. Yeah. Bash, please. Oh, I'm already in Bash. Okay. I haven't set up RVM in my C shell. <laughs> <laughs> so investor mode. Yeah, it should be about this size. And fill, fill this window. And here we should be in... Maybe you should make the new file before you start Watcher now. Also, I should uh, copy my RV and RC file from somewhere else. Okay. This is very much copy-paste driven development? Yes. Yes. Um, remembering stuff is for losers. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> And I guess so is setting up your environment properly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who has time for that when there are Emacs extensions to write? <laughs> <laughs> At some point it gets too painful, of course. So yeah. You should be doing it. So now I can quit it. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. So all the tests are still passing yeah. even after the rename and you remove the Bogus test. You, I, you didn't actually add the RVM RC file, did you? I added. Take that away, please. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, remove bogus. 
froze. Yeah, you yeah. can uh, hit uh, I to ignore it. I think that will create a local. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, no. Oh, okay. doesn't belong in Git ignore. Mm -hmm. We should be using um, big I, capital big. I. Oh, that's a local ignore. Nice. Thank you. Uh, Christian actually works for Gitorius, which is a <laughs> Git company, so he has more knowledge about these things than I do. <laughs> I, I, I usually just uh, commit my RVM RC files, yeah. and then someone complains about it, and I have to <laughs> <laughs> delete and ignore. And yeah, because that's that's your specific environment yeah, that exactly. has nothing to do with this code. Yeah, you're right, of course.